Wow. And I'd like us all to give a big round of applause to all of these wonderful firsts. E. Congratulations to them. Thank you very much, Laura, Soledad. And I know it's late, and I know we've been sitting here, but it's been delicious. And I hope you've enjoyed it, too. I have a surprise, actually. So um, I'm adding the layers of whipped cream that we've been enjoying, if you will, for that metaphor. A cherry, but it's not a cherry. It's really a rose. And uh, so I have a question. What do Marilyn Monroe, Shakespeare, Abe Lincoln, Dale Chihuly, Julia Child, Charles Corralt, and John, JFK, John F. Kennedy, of course, uh, to name a few, have in common? Their household names, they shaped our world, our cultural landscapes, all were or are brilliant, vibrant, passionate, poetic, leaders, lovers of life, and others. And, um, <laughs> and they all have roses named after them. And not just any rose, but roses that reflect their namesake. Uh, Mr. Lincoln is a single stem, deep red uh, rose, very tall, grows very lanky. Marilyn is soft. She's ivory with a delicious scent, and so on. They are hybrids, these roses. They are roses that have been cross-pollinated as seedlings, as hybrid seedlings for certain characteristics. Um, these, this takes time. I have to put on my glasses because now I can't see. They are tested for hardiness, for con constancy in bloom, for disease resistant. They must weather the rough storms of winter. Or Cheryl Malone is here from Heirloom Roses. Maybe you'll have a chance to meet her. Uh, she's with us here today. And she's responsible for developing and testing this rose uh, that you see behind me, which is known in the laboratory as CLE number six. CLE number six um, has now to meet certain standards. It must be strong, bloom and propagate in multiple climates, north, south, east, and west. It must entice passers-by to stop, pay attention, and it must throw off pests and disease with subtle grit. <laughs> CLE number six uh, must, over the coming years, be able to increase from a dozen plants, which exist now, to hundreds, to thousands, to maybe hundreds of thousands. In other words, it must meet the high standards of a great organizer and be a worthy reminder with each new bloom of its new name. Ladies and gentlemen, and Gloria, my friend, our friend Gloria, I present to you a gift and to future generations, the Gloria Steinem Rose. <laughs> all for being here tonight. <laughs> this is a plaque for Gloria that tells her there will be a Gloria Steinem Road. This was not part of our meetings. <laughs> uh, all right, I'm now going to spend the rest of my life living up to the description of that rose. Thank you. <laughs>